Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I went ahead and decided to see what would happen if I go ahead and put the RX 480 8GB with an MSI GTX 1050 Ti 4GB. When I first tried this about 7 months or so back, for some reason it did not work, and I don't know why, but for some reason AMD and Nvidia, both the drivers or something were fighting and they just didn't want to work together. But now it's changed, I put them both in the same system System, the exact same system once again and they are working together for some reason. So my system specs are the FX6300 is my CPU clocked at 4.6 gigahertz. I have an RX 488GB in the second slot and a GTX 1050 Ti 4GB in the top slot. Now, let me tell you why I'm even doing this. It's because the RX 480 is going to be mining Ether, while the 1050 Ti will be what I'm using as my driver for doing any everything else that I want to do. So then, uh, the reason why I made this video is because I want to show you guys that AMD and Nvidia can perfectly well work together. In fact, I have my secondary monitor plugged into the RX 480 and my primary monitor plugged into the 1050 Ti. Uh, this is very weird because I did some testing where I played Star Wars Battlefront EA on my main monitor, meaning it's getting played on the 1050 Ti, right? And then I can also play while I, um, mine, if you get what I'm saying. I totally messed that up. Okay, so what I mean is that I have my secondary monitor plugged into the RX 480 and my primary monitor plugged into the 1050 Ti. So how this works is, uh, my, my, everything on my primary monitor is being displayed through my 1050 Ti. That makes sense. Everything on my secondary monitor is being displayed through the RX 480. That also makes sense. What doesn't make sense, and why I made this video, is that if I play a game on the 1050 Ti, meaning my primary monitor, it plays smoothly because I'm not mining with that card, right? But now I'm mining on the RX 480 in the background, right? So I move Star Wars Battlefront over to the secondary monitor. That means now the RX 480 is displaying it, and it's still not glitchy. And when I look at the GPU load, I see the 1050 Ti is still playing. So that means that the 1050 Ti and the RX 480 are communicating somehow through the PCIe slots. And that's really strange because AMD and Nvidia, I don't know how they work together. But anyways, that's all I wanted to say is that AMD and NVIDIA can work together to play games, and games are starting to support this thing called multi-GPU support, which should allow you to do this even in video games where you have both of these cards work together. And I will update you on that if I manage to find a game, or I manage to get it to work with a lot of games, where I can find the RX 480 and the 1050 Ti working together, then I will update you guys on that. But meanwhile, go ahead and tell me in the comments down below what you think about this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.